Trey Senoritas, buenos dias. Trey Senoritas, buenos dias. Welcome to the Trey Senoritas cooking show. I'm aware that there's only dose of us here at the moment, but you just wait. Today we'll be cooking chili rellenos. To start it off, oh, we should probably look at some materials needed. These are our egg roll wrappers and some green chili. We need our green chili sauce that is homemade for the finished. As well as some starch and um, pepper jack cheese. It's better to use pepper jack cheese because it gives it more of a um, spicy spice flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Grace is going to start us off. Okay, so we're going to take an egg roll wrapper, lay it flat down, okay? Hopefully there's no cracks in it. If there are, that's fine though. We're going to get one of the chilies, chilies out, lay it diagonal across the um, egg roll. Take two slices of pepper jack cheese, they're about a quarter inch thick. And then we're going to stuff the pepper, or the chile, we're going to stuff the pepper with the cheese. This is for, you know, when baked it'll be, it'll be great. Oh, actually there will already be two on here. And then if there's any extra cheese, you can just put it at the very bottom, because that, that's the part that's going to have the least amount of flavor. Okay, then you're going to start rolling. If there's cracks, then you want to roll that part in first, so that your finished product won't open. Slide the middle in first, and then just roll it up, kind of like a burrito. The finished product should look similar to this. Okay, after, after all these steps, we're going to... Um, roll it in the cornstarch. This is for when baking. It'll just be a lot easier. You're going to put it on a plate and transfer it over to the um, fryer where you have your vegetable oil. And it should be about medium heat on the stove. So we're going to put the, after we put the um, middle project in, the, the, after it comes out, after about 30 to 40 seconds of frying, it should look similar to this. After putting a little, after putting a little um, chile sauce on it, the end product should look like this. Delicioso! <laughs> Trey señoritas, buenos dias. Trey señoritas. Buenos dias, tres señoritas. Buenos dias. Hola, and welcome to tres señoritas. I'm Mandy, and this is Erin, and we're going to show you how to make soap of peas. First, let's introduce the ingredients. Here, we have four cups of all-purpose unbleached flour, two tablespoons of shortening, and some baking powder and salt. And then one cup of water. Now in this in this pot over here, we have boiling eight cups of shortening. And then some cinnamon sugar. Now, let's get started. First, in a large bowl, you need to sift together the four cups of flour and the salt and baking powder. Now, let me get a spoon. So, after you mix it together, you're going to want to add the two cups of sugar. Thank you, Mandy. Now, you need to get to get this to a point where it's where it's kind of um, uh, kind of coarse crumbs. You know, you don't want it like just the flour, but you need to get that shortening really mixed in so it's coarse crumbs. And then you add the water until it becomes so wait, let's wait, let's look, let's look and see what it looks like. The coarse crumbs. See how there's chunks in here. Now, let's add the water. And we're just gonna add not all of it yet. <laughs> or or all of it. Or <laughs> all of it right now. And we're going to make it into dough. Now that you have successfully made your 
dough into four pieces. So it looks like this, four pieces. You're going to take one at a time and you are going to flatten them into eight inch squares. Actually, it'd be more successful if you made them into eight inch circles though. So, you <laughs> should definitely do that one. <laughs> it's kind of not really circle-ish, but it's supposed to be circle-ish. Now you cut them into, uh, now you cut them into eight wedges. Eight wedges. So we're gonna do Once you have cut a wedge, it should look like this. Now, it's kind of like a pizza slice. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's kind of like a pizza slice. Now, once you have made them into the wedges, you want to put them in the fryer. Well, the eight pans of shortening, or eight cups, not pans. And now you may wait. You may want a plate with paper towels on it to put your soap pee on once it's done. And right it's now, while it's while it is cooking for about a few seconds until you see that really crispiness and it kind of poops. Okay? Until it's like, <laughs> until it's kind of golden brown. Okay? Like this. So now, you want to prepare. Perfect. Now you want to prepare your bowl with your cinnamon sugar. And Mandy, will you bring that sopapilla over to me now? I will, Erin. Thank you. Now we want to take the sopapilla and just roll it in the cinnamon sugar. This is good for, this, this cinnamon sugar can also be substituted with honey. Okay, and now here's your finished sopapilla product. <laughs>